What's going on everybody? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the 511 Tactical Havoc 30 Backpack. All right guys, so I'm kind of a backpack junkie. My current favorite backpacks are gonna be the Reebok Cordura CrossFit backpack, which is gonna be my everyday gym backpack. And then my King Kong backpack two, which is my everyday carry backpack and my weekend trip backpack. Now the problem about both of those bags is that they're both 40 liters and they're both kind of big. So I decided to take a look at the 511 Havoc 30 backpack, which is unlike its name, actually only 27.5 liters. The dimensions of this bag are, it's 21 inches tall, it's 12 inches wide, and it's nine inches deep. But I have this bag packed to the brim right now because I just wanted to show you all the cool little storage options in this bag. Now the construction of the bag is a mix of 500 and 1050D nylon, so it's gonna be a little bit water resistant. The front right here is gonna have a Velcro patch for your name patch and some more Velcro hook and loop at the bottom for some patches. On the front of this main part right here, there is a zippered compartment that extends all the way down into here and will hold a ton of stuff. Right now I have my sandbar in there, but you can also put things like your wallet, your keys in there, but there are also more storage options for that. Now, if you like to carry a pair of lifters with you, there is no actual shoe compartment, but you can stuff them in this front area right here like I have my positions. This area is expandable so that you can take a pair of shoes and you can drop them right into that. And then just tighten it up and then you're good to go. Now these straps that tighten it up also come undone so that you can have access to this area a lot easier and then you can have access to the main compartment a lot easier as well, but we'll get back to that. There is a padded sunglasses case right here. This is actually pretty thick and it's got some molly webbing on the front right there. Along the sides you have water bottle pockets that can hold a shaker bottle. It does not hold a hydro flask, it's not that big and it does not have any kind of elastic so you're kind of stuck with whatever you got right there. On this side, there's another pocket that is the exact same as it was on the other side. Um, you have compression straps on the sides of the bag, so if you don't have a whole lot of stuff, you can just cinch these up and make it a lot tighter. Along the bottom of the bag, you have this strap so that you can put like a foam roller, you can put your belt there. But if you wanted to put your belt in your bag, there's also another solution for that which is probably one of the coolest things that I have seen and it is this waist strap so right now I have my two food belt stuck in there and all you have to do is slide it in and slide it out whenever you want to use it now with that there's also the included waist strap right here that has pouches on the sides and is a buckle. Now with these patches, these are supposed to be magazine patches, so you can also use this as a range bag, or you can just stick some stuff in there. Another thing about these waist pockets is that you can actually just remove them, and there's a little bit of Velcro in there, so you can just take them out if you're not using them. If you just wanted to use your belt as a storage there, then that would be totally cool because you can just remove that. Now the shoulder straps on the Havoc 30 are extremely nice and padded. They're really, really beefy and they stay on your back very, very well. There is also a sternum strap, some more webbing, and the back of the bag is also padded and it's ventilated. Really, really nice stuff. Feels really, really high quality back here. And on top of that, there's a hydration pouch if you wanted to stick any kind of hydration bags for if you wanted to go rucking. So now let's take a look at the main compartment of the bag which opens all the way up. Inside of that main compartment there's going to be a webbed pocket for more of your miscellaneous goods like your cell phone, your keys, your wallet. Inside of this 
pocket. It is a fair amount of space. It's not as big, obviously, as the King Kong bag or the Cordura CrossFit bag, but it is plenty fine. It holds just about everything. I have this thing stuffed with stuff. As you can see, I like to bring a lot of stuff to the gym with me. There is also inside of this a laptop compartment or a laptop sleeve that's padded so that you can slip your laptop in there and it should fit up to a 15 inch laptop as well. Now if there's anything I could say about the 511 Havoc 30 backpack, it's that it's just really, really well thought out. The pockets and storage compartments are super duper useful and it's all in a pretty compact package. It doesn't look like a huge backpack but it stores a ton of stuff and if you are a gym gear whore like myself, you will appreciate all of the little storage compartments in this backpack and all the little ways that you can put things into this bag without it being overly bulky. I really, really like this backpack and I definitely recommend it. It's not the cheapest bag at $140, but it is definitely worth the money, especially if you wanted a really, really nice looking and functioning bag that you can take to the range, you can take to the gym, you can take for everyday carry, and you could take for a weekend trip if you wanted to. This thing holds plenty of stuff. If you guys have any questions about the 511 Havoc 30 backpack, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.